wow, this guy is like trying to be president of the United States. Don't let them take your freedom. People don't really want Biden to run for re-election. I like it as a move. I like it as a move. With in Newsom's case, the most potent voices of the Democratic Party at this point. Where's the president? What's up, you guys? It's Steve here, and we're hearing that President Joe Biden has pretty much reached the end of his presidency, unless he can pull some sort of rabbit out of the hat with maybe some more stimulus checks here right before the midterm elections. They're looking to replace him, and wait till you hear the news coming out right now. I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update, and stimulus package update. Now, uh, we have not seen any contenders emerge out of the Democratic Party. A lot of people are saying they wanna see Biden's presidency come to an end. They've been calls for Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, but none of them emerged and said that they're gonna be taking on the president. Well, we have a contender, and a lot of Democrats are very happy about this, and that is none other then California Governor Gavin Newsom, they're saying that there might be a run for him for presidency in 2024. Let me know your thoughts. Now, this has all just been coming out the past few days since the 4th of July. He released a campaign ad, and I'm going to be sharing it with you. And we're going to be seeing commentary that's come out. I'm going to share with you the video footage. And also, you guys, we're hearing that Ron DeSantis could be coming as a Republican contender. That's right, let me know your thoughts. Instead of a rematch in 2020 between former President Donald Trump and Joe Biden, we could see Gavin Newsom, governor of California versus the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Comment, let me know, Biden or Newsom? or DeSantis or Trump. Let me know who you would vote for in the comments down below. But you guys, this is coming out left and right right now, and they're saying that these are much better options than what we currently have. Take a look, you guys. Articles coming out like this in the past 24 hours. As some Democrats grow impatient with Biden, alternative voices are emerging. And they're saying that Gavin Newsom is coming out stronger against some of the uh, things that people would like to see. And he has provided stimulus checks and tax rebates galore to help out with the economy in California. And he's boasting that uh, they're a state of freedom. I'm gonna let you see the, the campaign ad that he releases here in a second. Now, also too, they're saying, why don't you follow the footsteps of Boris Johnson, who today announced his resignation as well. That's right, the British Prime Minister said he is stepping down down as of today. And take a look, you guys. Gavin Newsom 2024 presidential campaign has begun. And they say he's taken on Ron DeSantis and adds urging Floridians to move to California. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts as we have California, one of the most uh, liberal democratic states in the nation, and Florida, one of the most conservative Republican states in the nation. Right now, these two facing off. We're gonna dive into the video footage. We're also gonna be seeing the response from the White House on this as they're outright asked, do you think President Joe Biden is being overshadowed by Governor Gavin Newsom? Wait till you hear the response. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything going on with our country, our economy, stimulus, what's taking place. Do me a quick favor, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton, I appreciate it. If you appreciate the content, also leave your comments, share this out. If you wanna stay up to date, it's totally free. Come join the Ram Fam. All you gotta do is take a quick second, smash the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. I'm also gonna be releasing this month a comprehensive list of all checks on all levels, states, counties, cities, so you don't miss out on anything. Because these are coming out almost every other day now and people don't even know. It's very frustrating that the word is not out and you have to apply for a lot of these and they're only available for a limited amount of time. And then if you miss it, you just miss the money and it goes back to the government. I'm gonna make sure that you don't miss out here on this channel. I'm gonna make sure that you know about everything that's available. Keep an eye out for that list. And also, join my second channel, Steve Ram Finance. I'm releasing new short videos every single day to help you out with investing, uh, gaining personal wealth, growing wealth, personal finance. Check out that channel. I'll link it in the comments down below. Click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications to help you out with everything that's going on right now in this turbulent economic environment. But you guys, let's dive right in. Get you caught up on the latest and let's take a look at the White House's response and then let's take a look at the campaign ads coming out from Governor Gavin Newsom telling you to leave Florida and go to California and they're saying this is the first step in his presidential campaign in 2024. Quick other one. Um, both Governor Prisker on guns in the aftermath of the July 4th shooting and Gavin Newsom uh, since Dobbs decision have become arguably 
more the most outspoken voices of the Democratic Party on both of these very um, fragile issues in the country. And I'm just wondering, is there any concern that the president's leadership is being overshadowed at this moment when the uh, big part of the American public, including Democrats, that voted for him? First part of the question. The, that both uh, Pritzker and Newsom have sort of emerged on guns and 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 on on Dobbs with in Newsom's case as as the the loudest and um, you know both most potent voices of the Democratic Party at this point. Where's the president? The president has been also very loud and also very um, focused on those two issues. Uh, when it comes to, to gun reform, uh, the president led on that. One of the reasons that he was able to sign a bipartisan gun reform bill right before he left uh, for G7 and NATO uh, was because of his leadership, was because of uh, him being very uh, committed and being very consistent for more than a year, uh, at least as president, uh, talking about what we needed to do in, in light of this uh, gun violence epidemic that we are currently in. And let's not forget, this president has had the most executive actions on, uh, on gun reform than any other president at this time. And he not only has led as president this past year and a half, but also as vice president and as senator, the very, very first uh, uh, I would say, argue the, the uh, gun reform that we saw, or the last gun reform that we saw was 30 years ago, which this president led, uh, which was on banning assault weapons. And so, uh, you know, 30 years later, he was able to sign a, a gun reform, a bipartisan gun reform uh, legislation that is now law. Now, with all of that said, the president believes there is more work to be done. Uh, he's going to continue uh, to call on uh, more to be done on on dealing with this uh, gun gun violence epidemic, and that does not stop here. And he welcomes he welcomes other voices in the Democratic Party, and he welcomes other voices in the Republican Party as well to join him uh, in really dealing with an issue that's tearing up communities and families. So there you have it, you guys. That was the White House's response to the question if Biden was going to be overshadowed by Newsom and uh, all of the things going on, and they said he welcomes the support. But uh, I wonder if he welcomes being replaced. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, as we're hearing that 88% of the nation now is saying that the economy, we are not going in the right direction. We need some changes. And a lot of people are saying we got to get Biden out. His approval rating overall is down really, really low. And we're hearing that there's going to be a red wave coming in these midterm elections. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the video footage. Now, this is going to be from The Hill. They're going to be covering what Gavin Newsom had to say and their stance on California and Florida and everything going on. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Let's go ahead and take a look. Democrats are praising California Governor Gavin Newsom for his 4th of July ad targeting Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Let's watch. It's Independence Day. So let's talk about what's going on in America. Freedom, it's under attack in your state. Your Republican leaders, they're banning books, making it harder to vote, restricting speech in classrooms, even criminalizing women and doctors. I urge all of you living in Florida to join the fight or join us in California, where we still believe in freedom, freedom of speech, freedom to choose, freedom from hate, and the freedom to love. Don't let them take your freedom. Paid for by Newsom for California Governor 2022. Hmm. Newsom purchased airtime in Florida <laughs> over the long weekend, urging Americans to move from Florida to California. Well, Kim, as our California yeah. uh, resident, do you feel like this is the freedom state you're living in? No, absolutely not. And that's what's so odd about this ad is that California is actually a heavily regulated state. Uh, and there, th th this idea of freedom to choose free. I mean, yes, OK, we do have that. But Florida, you know, he's, ta he's targeting Florida. We don't know about what Florida is going to do just yet when it comes to, you know, after the uh, Roe v. Wade. We don't really know what Florida is going to do just yet. Um, but, you know, here in California, there's heavy vaccine mandates. There's still mask mandates for certain kids in certain schools and areas. And, you know, I mean, it's just a very, you know, to say that this is a freedom state, this is a heavily regulated state. But it's interesting he's targeting Floridians like saying, hey, move to California because California is bleeding people. So when I first heard about Gavin Newsom running these ads, my first instinct was, wow, this guy is like trying to be president of the United States, right? He's running ads in different states. But now seeing this, I realized, no, I think he's trying to get people back to California. California's yeah. losing people and he's trying to attract people back in. But I don't know if this is the right way to go about attracting people back to California by saying, 
your your state sucks, so come live here. Right, and, on the, and especially with the freedom part, I, I associate, and I think even most people do, Newsom and sort of California governance with like nanny state liberalism, right? Right. I mean, clearly his his value and, and the value of many Democratic leaders in your state is that, yeah, we put, you know, we put people's health is the most serious thing for us and we'll compromise people's safety to do it. We think we know what's better for them than they do. Like that's the that's the ideology, not the like it's laughable. The, the, the ideology is here's where all the, you know, the freedom is, all the individual rights are like that's not. I don't think I, that's even their self-professed ideology. We weren't even allowed to go to the beach during the pandemic. Right. It was closed. So yeah. <laughs> there wasn't well, any freedom. Well, while we're talking about freedom and rights, I would mention that Ron DeSantis just moved to pass a law making people declare their political affiliations, which I think is a major issue when we're talking about constitutional rights and liberty. But I'll yeah. leave that aside to discuss this point. I, I mean, there's, pl there's plenty in going on to be Fair I, that uh, in Florida governance that I don't uh, that I don't right. agree with yeah. that right. yeah, that I would like you probably right. would be would be critical of some of the ways the kind of textbook and curriculum stuff ha yep. have shaken out. I, I I do object to some of the things people are objecting to that are in schools now. Whether you know these kind of cumbersome state regulations are the way to address that, I, I tend to think no in most cases. I, but I think this is I that. think this is a good move in terms of political strategy. And I'll say this right: we've been talking a lot about people don't really want Biden to run for re-election. We don't feel like there have been any Democrats really emerge as people that can. You've seen a lot of people throw around Newsom's name. We had that conversation a little while ago when I said, well, if that was something they wanted, Newsom did want to emerge as a figure that could challenge a DeSantis. I think this would be the time now for him to start mobilizing that kind of mass uh, audience. So I like that as far as a, mm -hmm. a strategic move. Second, I respect him recognizing that DeSantis is a legitimate person to be worried about. I think a lot of people, yes. yeah, we know on the side that DeSantis is an emerging figure, it's very likely that he could end up being the one to take it over Trump. So I think it's a smart, and it shows he's paying attention, to go after mm -hmm. Florida and, and DeSantis and try to do that. And my third final point, Florida did this to New York. During the pandemic, they couldn't wait to steal our residents. <laughs> oh, New York is doing all this in the next thing, all the regulations. So I suppose That's high. true. Yes. That's true. So I can't knock it coming from Fair you. Right. So I like it as a move. I like it as a move. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you feel like... Um, Governor Gavin Newsom would be a better presidential candidate in 2024. We're hearing that a lot of people are saying we have got to get rid of Biden and they're saying Gavin Newsom would be a good replacement. Now we're also hearing former President Donald Trump could be announcing very soon his run for re-election, but we're also hearing Ron DeSantis could be another possible option and there's a lot of support in the Republican Party for him as well. And let me know who do you think would be best for addressing the state of our economy, helping us get back on track. We're hearing a recession is coming. We have 41 year high inflation, record high food and gas prices. And a lot of people are saying, where are the stimulus checks that were promised? Well, you guys, I'm going to keep you up to date every step of the way as we're hearing as we get closer to these midterm elections, we're going to be expecting to see a lot unfolding. And you guys, I shared with you in my previous videos that the new stimulus package, reconciliation, has been cut down significantly, and we're going to see what provisions are released. They're saying it's going to be um, approved and passed this month, and we're waiting to see if there's going to be more stimulus checks for gas. I'll keep you up to date on everything. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's free. Why not? Just hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. More content coming to help you out with this turbulent economic environment. If you're interested, I'll pin a comment down below. Click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications, and keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all checks so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.